Hey everyone, welcome back to the Lean Scale channel. Today we are diving to something uh, super practical, which is how to create opportunities directly from contacts. That's happening in Salesforce. And if you ever wondered how to streamline uh, this process and why it's important, you are in the right place. Let's get it started. Before we jump into the how to, let's talk about why this is such a, a big deal. There are a few key reasons why creating opportunities should be go-to move. First, we have a, a more accurate association. It's all about accuracy. When we create an opportunity from contact, you're making sure that the opportunity is tied to the right person. This is, of course, uh, crucial for keeping your sales pipeline clean and ensuring uh, you're targeting uh, the right individuals in your deals, right? Second, I would say we have a streamlined data management. So what it means is Salesforce does a lot of head lifting for you when you start from the contact record. I mean, when you create an opportunity from the contact record, it automatically associates the contact record and the related account with the opportunity, which reduces errors and saves you time. You know, you don't have no more like double checking to make sure everything is linked properly. Additionally, we can bring any data from the contact level, uh, account level back to the opportunity. And then third is consistency across Salesforce. So when everyone in your team or in the team is creating opportunities from the context the same way, you are setting a uh, standard, especially in today's businesses where, you know, standardization is key. Consistent data entry in your Salesforce. Make sure your data is clean, reliable, make it easy for everyone to trust the system and, you know, and work more efficiently. So now in Salesforce, what needs to happen to make sure opportunities are only created uh, from the contact record? There are a few things you need to do uh, before you actually get into the cool part where it is uh, building create opportunity button in Salesforce. So desired state is you go into a contact record, a button right here, and it's called new opportunity, however you want to uh, name this button. Once you click, it's going to create a new opportunity. But before we actually do that, let me refresh my screen, remove that button from, from there. What are the two main places where you can create a new opportunity record? I will say it's, of course, the opportunity tab. So you create a new opportunity from here, or if you want to click in the list view, uh, hit the new button to create a new record from here, right? So I'd say remove, We, if we want to make sure these new buttons are not anywhere else except from the contact record, we got to first start from here. And then the second place I, I would go is page layout buttons. So when we go and we have a opportunity as a related list. They always come as a standard with the new button in here. So I would start from the account record, then go to contact record, POC record, everywhere where the opportunity related list is present. Okay, now to remove an opportunity new button from the list view, you go to the object manager in Salesforce, hit the list view button, layout, add opportunities, uncheck the new button, of course, and then let's see what happens. You see there's no new button anymore. And when we refresh, we actually don't see that button ever again. Once you hit that button, you uncheck that button, you will remove uh, the new opportunity from here and also the new button uh, here on top right. Then at the account object setup, if you want to remove a new button from the page layout, you gotta go to the related list uh, for opportunities and then in buttons, we uncheck the new button. Hit save. And you'll see that once you go into the related list, you will not see the new button anymore, 
right? And then naturally, you would probably go into the contact record. But my recommendation is leave that one last. Why? I'm gonna show you the reason now. When creating a custom button at the contact record, you need to choose new action or new button or link. That's the one you're gonna click. And what you actually have is you're gonna use JavaScript to create a new opportunity record. But with JavaScript, you can actually customize uh, fields that you wanna make sure they are populated off the bat. And you are actually gonna use something like this. Is this a standard for every Salesforce? I would say no, just because every record type is different. There are a few codes, especially IDs, they are all specific and unique to your Salesforce. So what you actually have to do is, do you remember that contact record I told you not to remove the new button yet? So what we are gonna actually do is go into the opportunity related list and hit the new button after we choose the pipeline record type. So with the right record type selection, you see this screen what you're actually gonna do is save the URL in here and then kinda paste right here. Once you have that ready, this is gonna save you a lot of time because what you actually need to be doing now, let me just organize this. You are gonna remove this the background context because that signals the JavaScript to Salesforce actually to you know have a background as a record but we don't want to have that that is actually going to signal Salesforce that this is a record coming from a specific we are going to actually remove that because this is not useful for what we need and then we're going to set up the default field values and they are all separated by commas. And, and yeah, this is the place where you actually gonna include the account ID so it populates automatically. There's a hidden field that's called contact ID in, at opportunities. And if you set that with the contact record you are creating the opportunity from, it actually creates a contact roles automatically. So this is the official Salesforce way of tying opportunities and contacts. It uses that field, but that's hidden, uh, not very accessible uh, <laughs> uh, via uh, regular automation. So that's the reason why people don't see it uh, often. But we also created our primary contact uh, custom field of our own and we want to populate with the contact ID as well. So always use this structure to get an account ID because this is going to actually get the account ID from the original contact record. Then this is the ID of the contact record as well. And here we want to set the type field as new business and you can, in JavaScript, you can uh, put straight without any notation. We're gonna choose the stage name to be default SQL. Lead source is needs to come from the lead source of the contact record. We're gonna set the probability for category name. And we're also gonna set the opportunity name in this structure. We want to have the account name and then tell it's a new business. And then we're gonna put a year. So it's gonna be a year. Uh, from the actually the close date, which we actually set up as this. So close date is this, and then you end up with no comma at the end. Check if it's working, if it's good, hit save, and then include into the page layout. In our case, we're gonna use landing page. So new opportunity done save and now it's it should be ready so everything seems to be populated well then we have lead source also populating from the uh, 
uh, the contact record. So lead source from here. Pretty straightforward. Hit save. And we should, we're now seeing uh, this working pretty fine. One quick note is the dates are a little bit confusing to work with. So in here, we didn't actually have to have this because this is the formula for the close date, but because it's a JavaScript, you will have to use this URL encode transform that close date into a text and then this is how it goes uh, for here we just need the 2024 so let's we use the formula for close date and we extracted the year from it and that's it for today so let's wrap this up we've covered why creating opportunities directly from context is a game changer accuracy streamlined data management and uh, consistency across your salesforce org right um, by making your go-to method you are not only saving time but also ensuring your data is rock solid which is key for managing your sales pipeline effectively so the next time you're in salesforce remember to start with the contact when creating an opportunity trust me it'll make your life a whole lot easier and your team will thank you for it if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Subscribe for more tips and tricks from Salesforce. Thank you.